Hey everybody, welcome back to another movie review. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel as of late. And I just got out of the theater to see this. Uh, I know it's been uh, now a few days for the film to be out, but typically I go see films on Tuesdays just because it's uh, cheaper options. So, you know, so I decided to wait till Tuesday to check this out. And uh, we have uh, gone through the entire series, or mostly the entire series, have touched on the entire series, minus the Tim Burton film. Uh, which is the only film of, of, of the series I've not, not seen yet. Um, but now we can dive into the latest entry in the series, that being Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, which was directed by Wes Ball, uh, most notably known for the Maze Runner films. Uh, follows up from uh, the three uh, films uh, starring Andy Serkis, and specifically War for the Planet of the Apes, uh, set generations after those events, and... Uh, we follow a character named uh, Noah, um, played by Owen Teak, I believe. Um, I'm familiar with him with a film called Montana Story, which I wasn't that crazy about, but I wasn't really crazy about him in that particular film. But um, follows a character named Noah and shows us a tribe. Uh, I forget what they're called. The Eagle Sun Tribe, I believe that's what they're called. And they have this, they have, um, their tribe revolves around the uh, the eagles, the animal that of eagles, the relationship to that, and and Noah's uh, view of just you know society and his whole principle is that of this particular society, um, and an ape raiding party uh, decides to uh, invades their his his homeland, destroys it, and Noah goes on a quest to uh, reclaim his clan um, and his people, and along the way he meets individuals. Uh, that will enlighten him more to the legacy of Caesar and more about the world at large, specifically that through a character named uh, Taka, I believe, um, who is an orangutan, uh, who has specific knowledge of that as Caesar and his legacy and his t principles, and a character named uh, 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 May, uh, who was played by, I forget, Alan, who you guys are probably familiar with, with the Witcher series. Um, and he goes on this. He goes on this quest with them and embarks on just gaining more knowledge. Eventually, meets up with another character named Proximus, uh, who is also twisting that of Caesar's uh, legacy. And ultimately, that is what the film, in, in essence, is about: is about legacy and about interpretation of said language and how someone may twist that, uh, twist it, and ultimately see it from a certain perspective. How one looks at words and looks at knowledge and looks at messages and interprets those words and interprets as those me those ideas in a specific way to where it may be truthful or perhaps it isn't the proper way or the right way or the you know the truthful way of looking at such a thing. Um, and there is an interesting um, psychological element of the film that I was pleasantly surprised by because. As the series, this rebooted series, has uh, got moved forward, there has been an, an, a psychological endeavor that has, or psych, a psychology that has developed in the films, that more, more prominently in War for Planet of the Apes, which it is specifically about uh, a, a battle on, on psychology and mentality and showcasing that of specific mentalities and wh why are, where are those emotional sensibilities or those sort of Ide that sort of ideology or that present self, where that all stems from. Um, and in this, it's, it's a different endeavor where it is about gaining knowledge and about gaining a perspective through that knowledge and what it ultimately turn puts you at. You know, does it give you a some form of enlightenment or does that uh, form some a, a side of ignorance or is it both? You know, it, it wrestles with interesting ideas. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised by that. I was I was expecting the film, as you guys may have, if you guys have followed this channel, I was very, very worried with this film um, because of just some of the, the comments made by the director saying that this has to be more Star Wars and other stuff, you know, by the trailers. I didn't think the VFX looked as strong. I must say that I was pleasantly surprised by the visual presentation. Yes, it is a little bit different compared to the original films, that original trilogy, um, that rebooted trilogy, I must say. Um, and those VFX are just outstanding, and they haven't still have not been touched, you know. But in this film, yes, they don't stack up to those those original VFX, but they have their own flavor and their own design, and they work really, really well in their respect. Um, so 
because as expected, it is a reboot. It is absolutely a reboot. It follows in the in what War of Planet of the Apes set up. It is, it is carrying over you know Andy Serkis and all that into this film. You know Caesar is, you know kind of hovers that throughout the entire film, um, but it is in essence in presentation and just by what is being set up. Ultimately, it is a reboot. It is a step in a different direction, and thankfully though, what it brings along with it is still that depth still that intrigue still that 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 interest in exploring more rudimentary you know of its ideas and not just concerning itself with C with cgi or you know, certain effects it's concerning itself more with ideas and concerning itself also with ideas that are very um that are very much in the spirit of what planet of the apes is ultimately about which is about agendas and about politics and the film may not be so about politics, but it absolutely is about agendas and about interpretations of languages. It is very much so, you know, following in the spirit of that original series, uh, while carrying the depth and carrying that um, that intrigue that the rebooted trilogy definitely has. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised by it. I, I was expecting a much different film, uh, just going into it, just hearing all the comments surrounding that, you know, just from the director and based on what I saw in the trailers, I was expecting something very different, but I was very surprised to find something that was still carrying a lot of the spirit of that rebooted trilogy. Yes, it isn't, you know, a complete, you know, you know, carrying over of that, that spirit or of that DNA, but it carries the, the bare, the, the things that are important, the, the, the commitment to ideas, the commitment to characterizations, developments, and building upon that and carrying that throughout the entire film, um, it 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 concerns itself more with that than what I thought it would be concerned with, which is with VFX and animation. It does not concern itself with that. It uses it to build upon its ideas and to inform us further. Um, so I was very very surprised with it, and I found it to be very very enjoyable. I found the the, the journey itself to be very. Uh, to be very uh, just, just uh, rewarding, and it does it does feel like a good companion piece to those other three. Does it stock up to those other three? I wouldn't say so. I think that it you know by comparison, it it's definitely not of the same caliber as those original three did. But for what it is doing on its own, and for, because essentially you have to view it as a reboot. You know that is basically as it's being pitched to you. It is. A reboot, and we are getting, without spoiling it, very, very close to that original film. Um, you know, it is getting close to lining up with certain events. I won't spoil it, but um, but it is taking it that series and that DNA, and it is binding it with other elements and a sense more of a sense of adventure than anything else than those original films are, because those original films that or that rebooted trilogy, I must say, concerned itself more with. Um, concern itself more with the the you know the emotional uh weight of events and that might be the one thing that the, this film does not carry is that a sense of resonance that sense of emotional depth but there is a sense of depth in the ideas being presented to you in that you do feel the weight of the circum of the circumstance of those of just again what that film is is talking about about perspective about how one takes in information and how they perceive things, you know, and then uh, those agendas that are uh, are also formed within that, and perhaps the ignorance that is that is that is built built within knowing information or interpreting information a certain way, um, like it it concerns itself with ideas, and those ideas are just, you know, I I think just <sighs> thankfully the the concern of the entire film, um, so. Um, but I kind of lost track of what I was saying, but basically though, I, I was very, very surprised with it and I was very involved, but not in an emotional sense. I, like I said, that that's the one th quibble that I would give to the film is that that sense of emotion is rather thin, um, compared to those three films where I was very much involved with those characters, specifically with Caesar and, and Wade Circus Brown performance, just great. 
Um, Performance-wise, also, it's also not too bad here. I appreciated what uh, what Owen uh, Take, I believe his name is. I appreciated what he brought in the lead role. I thought he did a fine job. Uh, the human roles also were fine. I think everyone did good. Um, but that sense of motion is, is not as evident in, in that says that rebooted trilogy did. But what it does carry over is that sense of depth in overall thematic study and the some solid VFX, even though yes, they're it's it's not the same caliber as the rebooted trilogy, it has its own mark and its own um, sense of details that are very, very interesting. So so it's a it's a it's a it's it's different in some in some ways, but also familiar in others. And thankfully that, that sense of familiarity is stuff that gives the film more substance and keeps you invested and keeps you intrigued. So so I heard there's two more films and I hope that those two films happen. It seems like they will based on the um the box office so far. Cause I am definitely interested to see where the series goes. It's definitely moving in a very interesting direction. And like the, the way I'll just put it in this review is that at one point I've just went, ah, you know, that's the feeling that I got when I was watching the film. There's just a point where I was hesitant. I didn't know how to feel. And then eventually I settled into it and I just went, ah, okay, we're, we're okay. You know, it was a sense of relief. And, you know, like I said, it has some things that I hope that the next film more than likely will have another film. Hopefully there is more of that sense of resonance that is that is more generated within these characters because there is, I mean, I enjoy the company of the characters. Don't get me wrong. I think the characters are interesting, but only by the thematic quality, you know, in what they are just in service to the themes about agendas and about perspectives and about interpretations of, of language. That's what makes them interesting, but not mo so much in a emotional sense. So I hope that the next film has more of that. But as its own, as of what it is doing, I think that it was pretty solid. And I was very, very surprised with the end results. So, so good. Good. I'm, 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 I'm happy, you know, and I was expecting a very different reaction coming into this. So I'm very surprised with the results and I'm very very relieved that the series is still being taken care of in very, you know, being taken care of and not being morphed into something that that wouldn't satisfy. And like I said, it does morph. It, it is a re another reboot. But thankfully, it is knowing it, it's a step in the right direction. I'll just put it that way. It's a step in the right direction, and I welcome it. So, so yeah, so those are my thoughts on Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I enjoyed it. I was pleasantly surprised with Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, and I'm very interested to see where they go next. If we get another film, I'm pretty sure we will. But, but let me know your thoughts on Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes if you guys have seen it, and your thoughts on the series so far, this rebooted series, starting with Rise, Dawn, War, now with Kingdom. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. And until then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.